Good morning, everyone. This is Deborah. If you look real close right there, you will see snow. It is snowing again. Now, let's make sure that I don't walk out of my front door and break my freaking ass. Let's make sure of that, right? I'm going to be very careful. If they haven't salted the sidewalks or the common areas today, I'm going to have to send a text to somebody. But today's video is about pheromones, about smells, about smells of the opposite sex or the same sex, depending on what floats your boat, okay? I have really good I have a really good nose. I always told people I could smell Nat shit because I can. So all my life, I have been, uh, this may sound a little weird, you know, smelling my husband because um, because of the type of work he did. I love, actually, I love the smell of what men get into, like oil, gas, diesel fuel, uh, of course, you know, we owned a tree company for 40 years, so I like the smell of cedar or pine, you know, because that's what I'm used to. And I'm used to, uh, I, I really do think women can get turned on by the perspiration from their lover. I know this to be a fact with me. All you got to do is sniff them, right? Let's have our Christmas coffee, even though it's February the 2nd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now here's something really bizarre. Uh, you know, I did, I did a video the other day about how he was really into my life the last year. We would go out to dinner or lunch and whatever. But about 10 years ago, uh, we met at the Art of Coffee in Montrose, and um, I think we just met in the parking lot. We didn't go in, but we hugged each other, and I smelled him. Now, this was after, you know, we, had, we were going through a divorce. I actually smelled him, and I fell in love with him all over again, just from his smell. It haunted me. Your lover's smell will haunt you people, okay? Now, fast forward 13 years later, whatever. Oh, it's many, many years later. I smelled him because he doesn't do the same type of physical labor anymore. Uh, he doesn't get in around, he didn't even get his hands dirty in, in his shop or whatever. Not, not as much as he used to, I should say. I smelt him again, and guess what? You won't guess? I didn't know who he was. The smell was foreign to me. I didn't know, I didn't understand the smell of him. I didn't like the smell of him. It had, it didn't have any of those pheromones that used to turn me on, okay? Okay, so people, there's no love there. There's no sexual, tr there's nothing. He doesn't smell like he used to. And I don't like that. And it's very complacent, it's it's mundane. It is, it is not a turn on people. So uh, this could happen very well to anybody that all of a sudden you don't like how they smell. Now, I know this is, uh, I don't know. You can sometimes tell when somebody is doing something that they shouldn't because of the way they smell, okay? Like if you have a very heightened sense of smell, you can tell if they've been drinking or or smoking pot or whatever. Uh, that's not my concern anymore because I don't have anybody, you know, in my life right now. The guy I've, I've only dated twice, there's really no communication except maybe a good morning. And after the date, we go right back to our own homes. And he, he is in West Point. 
And I kind of like that because you still have your sense of who you are after the date. You're not, you know, hooked to the telephone, you know, with texting uh, a lot. I don't really like that. It's hard enough for me to keep up with the texting with my own uh, family, okay? But, yeah, the smells mean everything, especially to me. It's how a man smells. And um, so, I hope I've enlightened you a little bit. So, yeah, smell your lover when he gets home or when she gets home. And, and see if that attraction is still there, okay? So let's watch the snow. Yeah. It's coming down very lightly. It's more, it's more like little like little flurries. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a uh, geranium. See that geranium right? Oh, you can't tell. Right there, there's a, a geranium blooming. Now that never happened last year because I have to bring in all my plants. It's because I miracle grow them. Seems like every time I miracle grow my plants, I get blooms. I, I think I bought the blooming miracle grow. So yeah, it's kind of nice to have a little color at winter. All right, this is a Chico jacket. And I will say goodbye and be safe out there if you have to drive in it.